Hi, we are Luna Talk. I'm Zara. And I'm Sophia. And today we are reacting to The Seraphim. Um, okay, what do you know about this comeback? Because I know nothing. I know that this is uh, the third part of the trilogy, of the debut trilogy. So one was Fearless, two was anti, Anti-Fragile, Anti-Fragile, and now we are Unforgiven. And it, uh, I, I don't know the exact a thing but in the album track list i've seen they pulled from a lot of ancient and uh, historical characters of women who weren't who kind of broke the rules and were unforgiven by society and that's who the seraphim are depicting and that's who they are that's really interesting okay i had no idea about this okay let's go oh it's a movie Why is everybody, is, was there some like hype thing, ki, like drama? I think they just, that's just who they are. That's mm. their like brand identity. Such a freak, what you call me? Let me tell you about the seraphim. Nigga, they shit and gum, nigga, they believe. Out of self. Did you see the wing? Okay, 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 don't hate me, but this is giving. Tell it, tell it, not shy, not me, it's a. I'm so confused. About who Nile Rogers is? Oh, he's a guitarist or a pianist? Oh. One of them. Just like a very famous old. Oh. Like Santana. Oh, that was really cool. Oh, that was cool. Okay, that was genuinely really cool. Yeah. Also, like loving how all of them are in black, but uh, so, uh and inside, and then Chewan yeah. comes outside on the horse in white, white to save them. Is that the thing? I don't know. Mm. Or she's just the main character. <laughs> Whose heart was that? Was it the horse's heart? No, I don't think so. I oh, think. that was nasty. <laughs> it had blood on it also. It's like khun door ra unki raggo mein. I love this shot. Mm. Like it's, it's very this this uh, set is very yeah dramatic. Mm. Oh, I don't care to shut it down. <laughs> Okay, let's start with, I had no idea what happened in the MV. Yeah. I don't think anything happened in the MV. Yeah, I feel like they wanted to show them maybe as like baddies and this were, these were different baddie things. Yeah, not, not all baddies, but just like visually they're like like the wings whatever wing thing was really cool the but crunch of it wasn't oh it's not that wing where the sari one ha huh, that was really cool i think visually arresting but i don't think it gave me story yeah no it, there was no story i don't think any of their mvs no I, the anti fragile did have like a very legit story but yeah this didn't give a story um okay let's talk about the song the song Hmm. Hmm is correct. Hmm is correct. Hmm is correct. <laughs> so I like, I'll tell you the part that I like. The hook. Yeah. So that's the pre-chorus but, hook. But huh, there are three parts to the chorus. There's a pre-chorus, there's a chorus and the post-chorus. I don't like anything other than the pre-chorus. Pre- yeah, I really like the pre-chorus, but everything else is just forgettable. Yeah, I feel like your chorus cannot just be the same word rep- rep- repeating. No, but that wasn't the chorus. No, sorry, your post-chorus cannot just be that. I think it I feel can, like- but... It it was it can if you do it well. Mm, this wasn't a good example. Of yeah, it. yeah, true. No, I uh, I'm co- I was a little disappointed with the song. Yeah. I I didn't like it very much. Something that I did think was very interesting where there is a um, layer in the back which mm-hmm. sounds like either one of their voices or which has been like mastered in such a way that it sounds really deep like, and masculine mm-hmm. which is giving her a really interesting depth to the song mm-hmm. um and i think this is saying 
<laughs> I, I think I'll have to listen to it again. But just on this first hearing, I don't think anything stands out to yeah. me at all. True. I think the only thing I like is the pre-chorus, which was also in the teaser, and that is the TikTok or whatever challenge that they've been doing. So I think it feels like one of those songs where you know you had this perfect part of a song mm. to do, and then they built else. everything around yeah, it. And yeah, and it wasn't giving, especially given that uh, I know you weren't the biggest fan of Fearless, but I really liked it, mm. and Anti Fragile was. Of just course, everything. anti-fragile was everywhere. So I think uh, leading up to Unforgiven, the expectations were pretty high and this did not give. It's not serving. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the big things that I felt was there was this clap track hmm. that came in, which is just like, guys, there's other ways to build beats. Maybe. Mm. it And it came in too often. Like it didn't build enough. Like I feel like there has to be something and then the clap track. It was his clap track throughout. I this I might be the you know I might have this as a singular opinion, mm-hmm. but I didn't enjoy the choreo, <laughs> like at all. Like none of it. Yeah. None of it. Like I feel like at some like what's some, the what's the hook choreo because they always have they, like there was fearless choral hands and they go like unforgiven. Yeah, I don't think that is the hook choreo. Is it though. not? Is it not? I thought shuru mein they do something and like, even like. Aise wala kuch karte hai, no? Unforgiven, unforgiven. Oh, I don't remember that. Are they also furry? <laughs> so that was okay, but it wasn't again not to compare, but I mean we have to compare. But like fearless had the watch you looking at anti teat. Anti fragile was just full yeah, of yeah. like uh, Oh my god, that was also furry. Yeah, they were like furry. Okay, yeah, no, I I don't I, I feel like this has absolutely for me been a massive, mm-hmm. massive letdown miss. Yeah, same. As a huge fan of the group, I feel very upset. I mean, I'm not upset, but I just didn't like the song and I won't be going back to it as much. Maybe just listen to the chorus. But I will check out the album Album. and see if I like vibe with anything. I'm sure I'll find something. Let us know in the comments below what you thought about the song. Do you agree that it was a miss or do you find things about it that you like? Yeah, if you disagree with us extremely, let us know in the comments and let us know why you disagree. Like, what is it about the song that you think is great? And is it if you like it better than their other tracks? We were Nuna Talk where we talk about many things K-pop and K-drama and this was one of our reactions. If, if there is anything else that you would like us to react to, then make sure that you comment about it down below or send us a DM on our Instagram at Nuna Talk. Exactly like it sounds, we will be back with our scheduled weekly episodes soon. I was Sophia. I was Zara. We'll see you next time. Bye. I'm forgiven, I'm forgiven, I'm forgiven. I'm